a study written by James Hansen. James Hansen was the former NS, uh, NASA lead climate scientist. He was predicting as early, I think, as the late 90s that we were going to have a rise in temperatures, that we were experiencing it and that we were going to see it. And it was in... If you go back to that, uh, those reports and predictions in the late 80s, I believe it was. Maybe it was the early 90s, but I believe it was the late 80s. Um, everything he predicted has come about. And it's not, it really is just more about his models were correct. Well, he has co-authored a report with 16 other scientists, many of whom are considered top in their fields, that concludes that glaciers in Greenland and Antarctica will melt 10 times faster than previous consensus estimates, resulting in sea level rise of at least 10 feet in as little as 50 years. The study has not been peer-reviewed yet, and it's, it's going through a different type of peer review process. They're going to uh, publish it in a magazine called Atmospheric Chemistry and Physics. And it will, they will dump all of their, their citations and whatnot to allow for real-time peer review by other scientists. The reason why they're doing it in this way is to make sure they could publish before the Paris meetings in December. So there'll be real-time peer review, and we'll see if this is correct. But if it's correct, it's a problem. <laughs> I mean... There, it, it basically impacts the feedback loop in the ocean near the Antarctica that results in cooler fresh water from melting glaciers forming, forcing warmer, saltier water underneath the ice sheets, speeding up the melting rate. Um, in the event that it is the case that sea levels rise 10 feet over the next 50 years, 10 feet, goodbye, New York, Goodbye, lots of Boston. Goodbye, Atlanta. Goodbye, most coastal cities in the world. And when you contemplate the idea that you're going to have some of the major cities in the world become inhabitable. Uh, you're talking about a tremendous amount of social upheaval. I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we are on the cusp where a lot of these scientists are going to say, okay, I'm going to stop predicting this stuff and start trying to figure out how we deal with it because it's an inevitability. And for many of them, I don't know that they'll have an answer. I don't know how you build New York on stilts. I mean, in Sandy, we had as far in the Isle of Manhattan, downtown was a mess. And four or five blocks into Manhattan, and this is not a big, this is not a wide island down there. What'd you say, like one quarter, one eighth of Manhattan was submerged in two or three feet of water? Destroyed a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. 